So how did Mission Marvel come about? Well, uh, Disney actually approached both us and Marvel to see if they'd like to, they'd like to do that, and we'd like to do it, and we all said yes. And uh, and it became this really fun, fun thing for us to do, play, playing with these. It's sort of like playing with toys we've been playing with since we were little kids, you know. Uh, and we've written our, our toy we've box. written stories about them probably hundreds of times in our heads uh, in our youth. These were the coolest characters going. And, and, you know, these are the guys that taught me how to draw for the most part. I sat there trying to, you know, to, to be a comic book artist for many years. So this is a dream come true. So what are some of the challenges when trying to fit the Marvel design into your show? Well, we ha we yeah. didn't want to change it too much. We didn't want it to look like super stylized versions. You know, we didn't want Phineas to have a triangle head or, 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 or Spider-Man to have a triangle head. We wanted it to look like the Marvel characters. So we, we put them next to each other. And really, all we did visually was was made their heads a little bit bigger in relationships to their bodies, because because uh, uh, just so that it, it sort of fit in our universe a little bit more. But otherwise, we left them pretty much alone. We even the Marvel characters still have like shine highlights and shadows like they do in the comics. We wanted them to stay the same heroic characters they were.